This one sure did take a while to get together. Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? Great. In my last video, I went ahead and opened up about clutching to energy drinks for my day-to-day -day activities. But one thing I never really tried or gave a second thought to was gaming energy drinks. For those unaware, these gaming energy drinks have been advertised to the gaming community and have been known to help out their performance by boosting their focus and sense of awareness. You know, like Gatorade and with sports athletes, they're mostly common in powdered form in which you would normally see in most supplements such as protein powders or pre-workouts. There's a gnat. I was never really interested in them first. I never understood why or what they had to be associated with for gamers. It just felt like another gimmick for companies to cash in and make a quick buck within the gaming community. But then I remember we live in a world where EA and Activision exist. And don't even get me started on the ridiculously overpriced gaming socks by Puma. Went ahead and got a few to test them out and give you my thoughts on them. So starting off is a brand known as Advanced GG. Recommended by a friend, I was more curious to go ahead and get what I can and give it a shot. It's kind of cool to know that they offer sample packages. <laughs> It's kind of cool to know that they offer sample packages just in case you're hurting for cash or you want to try something different without spending a whole too much. You got this. It did take a while to arrive, probably about a month. I mean, I'm not complaining, just letting everyone know out there if you ever decide to get in on the sample packages. All right, so off the bat, this was really sweet. I did end up getting the mango flavor, so maybe that's what it was. So it was pretty overwhelming, so I did have to take my time with it, which is a good thing as to not chug the entire thing in one go. There was a bit of a chalky texture which in most cases the powder didn't really break up and chunks of it just sat at the bottom of the shaker. Good thing though there wasn't really that much of an aftertaste as it would mellow out over time so it brought my previous concerns down a little bit which led to a more enjoyable lingering flavor to which would slowly fade away. After finishing my drink I didn't really feel much of a huge difference so I figured I'd just let it go ahead and take its time let it kick in with a vengeance. Although it didn't, I didn't get hit with that surge of energy I did notice it going into effect. I became pretty talkative with a new group that I just met on Destiny 2. It's a new clan that I just joined in. Um, so I'm pretty timid when it comes to meeting new people. But once it started taking into effect, I was a chatterbox. And since it's a new group, I might as well let them know my personality. During each match, I would say my sense of awareness was at an all-time high. I was able to enjoy myself rather than feel nervous with the whole new group. I was having fun and it was a really great feeling. But sadly enough, within the hour, I did feel a crash kicking in. It could have been the meal I had earlier, but I really don't think so since it, was, it wasn't really a big plate. Or maybe that's just what comes in the sample, I mean, you know, it's something that they urge you to get more of. Either way, it d really didn't last as long as I wanted it to. So I played just as long as I could without yawning all over the mic before realizing I should just call it quits and call it a night. In my opinion, it wasn't that great. It was really sweet. Powder didn't break up as much as I would like. I did get a nice boost, but having that crash just really killed it for me. I would say I give this drink a 2.5 out of 5. Sorry! Okay, Respawn. Made by ever so popular Razer, a company more known for making great peripherals for all your gaming PC needs such as keyboards, mice, mouse pads, and gaming headsets. But can they take on the drink market to not only give you the products for success, but give you the edge for the better performance to have you sitting at the top of the leaderboards? Sure. Where Razer exceeds in cosmetics for keyboard and mouse, their newly respawn product just kind of misses the mark. I ordered their blue raspberry and the flavor overall was a bit bland and bitter. If you don't use the recommended dose of water and the temperature, you're gonna have a really bad time. There wasn't really any aftertaste, which I kind of enjoyed. I noticed it was kicking in when I was aware that I became hyper and I was acting like a complete goofball in my Discord chat with friends. I was easily distracted with all of my surroundings, such as my phone, their conversation, but as I pushed myself to pay attention to my game, I did get that ur urge of focus. I tuned everyone out. I had to go ahead and just unbalance, like lower the chat volume. And I went ahead and placed my phone to the side. So upon doing so, my immediate attention was set. It was a nice feeling getting through my matches with a almost tunnel vision. I was fully aware of everything in the game. My only distraction later on was my craving for snacks. Pushing those cravings aside, all I drank was water and I was back on track. If it wasn't for the flavor and bitterness of the powder, then I believe this drink would definitely have its way in this market. It is new, so I'm kind of hoping to see some changes in the future with the ingredients and the flavor. But for now, I have to say I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Oh, that's bullshit! If you happen to follow a bunch of gaming pages on Instagram or Twitter, or if you just so happen to be talking about energy drinks just loud enough for Facebook or the AI on your phone to take notes, and deliver ads to you for that certain subject, 
then more than likely you have been introduced to Maul Energy on your timelines. Maul is fairly new and they made a bold claim that you will like the product so much that they were going to go ahead and give your first sub for free that you're going to want to come back and order another one. All you have to do is just pay for shipping. You know, I decided to give it a shot. For something that I decided to blindly trust, I'm actually very surprised. The flavor was pretty mellow, went down smooth, and there was no bad aftertaste, which again is pretty surprising. Now in the back of the tub, there's the directions. You can go up to three scoops, but I went ahead and stuck to the one. And off that one scoop, I felt it kick in pretty quick. It got me <laughs> it got me to my talkative point as usual. Just like with the respawn, I had my moments of distractions, but it wasn't all that bad. I was able to focus right away on my games to the point where I felt like my eyes were glued to the screen, constantly checking out my surroundings in my game. Luckily, it was a quite nice explosion, but not to the point where I was jittery at all. After a while, again, I did have some craving to snack on something, but I went ahead and just stuck to water, which helped, again, mellow down the craving, and I was able to keep my focus. Luckily, there was no crash, which I fully appreciate. One concern I do have is their nutrition label. It really doesn't share a whole lot of information of what's in it, and it does kind of rub me the wrong way. There's just enough to let you know, but it's not very detailed. How much caffeine exactly does it have? What about those who are on their keto diets? Because I have a few friends who are a part of that. How many carbs? The percentage of vitamins? You know, just give it a little bit more detail, and we're golden. I'd have to give it like a 4 out of 5. Interesting. Okay, you've all probably heard of this one already. Your favorite streamer or content creator out there is sponsored by them, G Fuel. I caved and bought one for science. Well, what is there to say that hasn't already been said about this product? It's pretty good. No overwhelming flavor. Did have a bitter aftertaste that I could forgive, but towards the end it did get a bit chalky and I did notice a bunch of the powder did not break up properly, so it was just sitting at the bottom of the shaker cup. Did I say that right? Once it began to kick in, it did have that creep on you kind of feeling. There wasn't any overwhelming jitters or that hyper feeling that I normally get, not there. It was just me more engaged with all my surroundings. I was able to focus on my game with the minor distractions of my phone, such as my chat with friends. So it kind of felt like I was multitasking. All in all, it was a nice smooth ride. There was a moment where I began to heat up a little bit, so I had to lower down my AC just to cool up. Once I wasn't warm anymore, my sense of awareness was back up, and again, my eyes felt glued to the screen. And my focus was all there. I really liked that I was able to pay attention to my game, have a conversation with my friends. Focus was all around. After a couple of hours, luckily there wasn't any crash. And if I'm honest, I didn't really feel much of a difference once it wore off. I felt back to my natural state with maybe a hint of the energy lurking around. Out of all the products, I really appreciate that G Fuel has a more detailed nutrition label than all the other ones. It really lets you know what you're putting into your body. Thank you for that. I'd have to go ahead and give this the highest one out of it, 4.5 out of 5. <laughs> After going ahead and giving all these products a try, did it really change my idea on gaming energy drinks? Yeah, I see it. Was there any difference between these and my usual energy drinks that I like to enjoy? No, they're all essentially the same thing. You're gonna have your bad and you're gonna have your good. What I can appreciate is the fact that these are in powdered forms. So you can just go get your water, shake it or stir it, and drink comfortably at your desk without having a collection of empty cans surrounding your battle station. Another thing I can also appreciate as these are pushing the gaming community away from drinks such as Red Bull, Monster, and in my opinion, the disgusting Mountain Dew. Now, another thing I would like to point out is that these, you don't really have to drink if you're in a gaming mood or you need something to the game. You can, you can drink these anywhere. Do you need that extra wake up at Monday morning at 8 a.m. after a whole weekend of partying? Need a quick pick me up to get over that anxiety that you're gonna go out with your friends that you had planning for weeks so now you don't wanna seem like a douchebag by canceling on them? You can go ahead and use these for your day-to-day -day activities as well. And you can have it for the variety of both gaming and daily life. At the end of the day, you do what works for you. I, for one, will go ahead and stick to my usual favorites, and maybe now and then I'll order another one of these tubs. Or just finish all the ones that I bought to make this video. Well, thank you guys for tuning in, and I really hope you enjoyed my awkward take and reviews of these products. If you were looking forward to possibly getting one of these or curious about the products, I really hope I helped you out in some way. Do you have a gaming energy? Do you have a favorite? Are you curious, curious about one? Let me know. Put it in the comment section. Let's chat about it. Again, everyone, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. If you truly like what I have to offer, please go ahead and leave me a like. Leave a comment whether you hated it, you, you really liked it, it was informative, it was just cringy. And subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye.